Welcome back to Scripps News Tonight. In recent years, there has been a revolution in weight loss drugs. New drugs now with the FDA's approval are all the rage, but most were developed to treat diabetes. Brand names like Ozempic and Wagovi have become household names. Videos on those drugs racking up more than a billion views on TikTok alone. Well, now the FDA has given the green light to another weight loss drug. This one developed with weight loss as the goal. It is called ZepBound, and it is made by the pharmaceutical giant Lilly. So how effective is it, and what about the side effects? Dr. Omar Awan is a physician and healthcare contributor at Forbes.com. In fact, I think that was your article we were taking a look at. So let's cut to the chase. Does it work? It's very effective, Del. Uh, you know, this drug, you know, ZepBound, has been shown to be extremely effective in, you know, obesity and weight loss. You know, a study showed that, you know, one in three individuals that took ZepBound lost 25% of their total body weight. That's probably the best drug that's out there in terms of losing weight. If you compare that to Wegovi, which is another very uh, popular drug for weight loss, you know, one in three individuals that took that lost 20% of their total body weight in a different study. You know, there hasn't been a head-to-head -head study between ZepBound and Wegovi, but certainly this may be the best or most effective drug for weight loss. Doctor, I'm looking at an injectable. Is it true that I have to inject this drug and, and might we one day see it in a pill? And if we have to inject it, how long? So all of these drugs that you mentioned, so Ozempic, Wegovi, uh, Mongero, uh, and this ZepBound are all weekly injectable drugs. So you inject them once a week and the dosage can vary you know, from time to time, but these are all injectable drugs. There are some drugs that are out there that are taken by pill, but those are usually for diabetes and not weight loss. Could there be a drug that's you know, a pill in the future? Absolutely, but right now, the major drugs, the GLP and the GIP drugs that are commonly used for weight loss are all injectable drugs. A doctor, when you look up um, these weight loss ads, Google gives you a page from the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, warning that if you see an ad saying the treatment will give you weight loss without changing diet or exercise, it won't work. Is that still true, especially with ZepBound? Well, weight loss is typically, you know, based on caloric intake. So if you take in less calories than your body needs, you're going to lose weight. And that's usually from diet and exercise. Now, ZepBound can affect your diet indirectly because it acts on brain centers to you know, decrease cravings, decrease, you know, desire to eat. It also delays emptying of the stomach. So you feel more full for a longer period of time. So indirectly, it is actually affecting your diet because you're going to take in less calories, you're going to eat less food, and thus you're going to lose weight. So uh, I would say, yes, absolutely. If you take this drug, you can lose weight, but it is affecting the diet aspect of that equation that's allowing you to lose weight. You know, there was a recent study uh, about weight loss drugs published about five years ago in 2018. It showed that five years after we lost all that weight, 80% of it came right back. Uh, these new drugs are meant for long-term weight loss, but often used to lose weight quickly. So people who use this on a, on a short-term basis do they risk seeing a rebound uh, later on, five years later? And, and what happens if you don't keep taking these drugs? Yeah, I would say yes, Del. I mean, you know, obesity, remember, is a chronic medical condition. So that means it's a long-term medical condition. And these drugs are typically meant to be taken for the long term. So if you take, if you remember the example of Ozempic, a lot of people took this drug to, you know, shed 10 or 15 pounds before a wedding or maybe before going to the beach. But when they discontinued the drug, many of them regain the weight back. Now, we don't know if that's true for ZepBound yet. Only time will tell if, you know, short-term use of ZepBound will result in, you know, uh, rebound weight gain. But I would suspect that it is also true that if you were to use ZepBound for the short term and you stopped, then you would certainly be at risk for gaining all that weight back. Doctor, the road to weight loss is littered with um, misinformation and, and effects that none of us saw coming. Right now, we're talking about a five-year look back and saying, okay, five years later, you're going to gain the weight back. Do we really know about whether or not ZepBound is going to be good for us? Say, for instance, if you do start taking it now, you're 40 years old and you wind up having to take it for the rest of your life. Well, I think it should be considered on a patient by patient basis. And you must and absolutely must talk to your primary care physician before using the drug. Certainly, it's very safe for most people. You know, common side effects include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, 
but there are serious side effects still. So for example, you know, it can cause, you know, inflammation of the pancreas, gallbladder issues, vision issues, and diabetics, even kidney problems, and even a real risk for getting thyroid cancers and depression and suicidal thoughts. So if you have any of these uh, more serious complications or issues already with your health, you absolutely must talk to your doctor and maybe stop taking this drug. So, you know, it really depends on how healthy you are, what your underlying medical conditions are, uh, all that, you know, factors in and weighs in on whether or not you want to take the drug or not. Doctor, is this a Lexus drug? I, I think Zepbound is listed at costing about $1,000. Can users expect insurance to cover that? And, and if not, we're talking about what, $1,000 a dose, $1,000 a month? What are we looking at? Yeah, it's really expensive, Dell. You know, we're talking about a little bit over $1,000 a month. And, you know, traditionally, insurance companies and even Medicare have not funded obesity drugs. Now, that may change uh, given the fact that, you know, a lot more obesity drugs are in the market. That's going to result in competition. And you will see some of the prices decrease. And I think another factor that's important is that some of these drugs have additional effects. So, for example, Wegovi has been shown to decrease the risk of cardiovascular disease, heart attack, and stroke. So when you consider that, that it has additional effects, not just weight loss, that may pressure uh, insurance companies to at least fund part of the drug. So I think, you know, what we'll see with time is, is that, you know, it'll probably be funded, but right now uh, insurance companies are not picking up the tab for these drugs, but it will be really interesting to see if they do that for Zepbound. Only time will tell uh, whether they do that for Zepbound. Doctor, 20 seconds left. Um, Ozempic, Wagovi, um, we're new a year ago. We thought we were taking them for diabetes. Now we're finding out they reduce our weight. Should we wait to see what happens next? Well, it's interesting because some of these drugs are approved for weight loss. So for example, Wegovi is FDA approved for weight loss, but Ozempic is FDA approved for diabetes. The same is true for Zepbound is FDA approved for weight loss, but Mongero, which has the same ingredient as Zepbound is FDA approved for diabetes. So uh, I think that it, distinction is very important. Dr. Awan, thanks for being with us now. I just have to figure out how to get $1,000 away from my wife. Uh, that's probably, it's easier to go to the gym. I'll put it that way. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. You got it. Coming up.